Hello everyone and welcome to my Switch. <laughs> I finally got my console recorder going again uh, after like it being inefficient for almost a year. I, I couldn't get it to work but now it's finally working and in good time as well because oh my gosh um, my very first which you can see what game we're going to play obviously first of all second of all the reason why I want to play this game today it's because one, it just released, and two, Pokemon Yellow, which is the game it's based on, was my first Nintendo game ever. I got a Game Boy Color and Pokemon Yellow for a birthday present, and I hoarded Pokemons on that game, and I was so joyous to hear that it was based on the Kanto region. And it was based technically on the yellow game as well. So I am looking very much forward to this. And before you ask, yes, I picked Let's Go Eevee. Because I have always picked a Pikachu. So I wanted to see the difference. And there are two min uh, there are minor difference to the game in hand. I think there are two or three different Pokemons that are... There's like, uh, is it two or three uh, exclusive to each game? So it's very much like the old games now. So you also have a little spectrum of uh, red and blue, where there was exclusive Pokemons to each thing. And technically also yellow, because it didn't have all the Pokemons either. So, hey! So you're going to share and trade with friends as well, if I can get any friends who play the game. But that's another thing. So let's just jump into it here. And yes, that is me. Because <laughs> I couldn't find a better icon. Yes! Just jump in there. And probably also because Breath of the Wild was the first game I got from a Switch. But like many others, that's another thing. Oh! Hello? Uh, press a button to on the controller that you want to use. So it's just a one controller game? Really? I'm surprised. Okay! Fair enough. Um, I'm using my little right blue Switch controller. I think that's from the Mario Kart circuit. I just bought it as an extra controller on the side. But I have a turquoise blue in my hand right now, which is very nice. I like turquoise. I like blues. So <laughs> they don't make me feel blue at all. Oh, <laughs> taking pun. Uh, sorry, I'm overly tired. <laughs> I'm very sorry, guys. Anywho, let's see here. Uh, when you play with a Joy-Con controller, put on the st what strap? Oh, that's because I lost that part. Never mind. I'm just not gonna throw my controller then. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Aren't you a kitty? For some reason, it reminds me of my uh, my brother's uh, Labrador. <laughs> He's also like, oh, always happy, oh, so happy. That's so nice. Okay, select your language. Definitely English, because of all the languages here. I do speak a bit German, but that will be a little awkward for me, because there will be a lot of things I don't understand, but I do understand a bit of German. But it would definitely be English. <laughs> Yes, just begin the game. That would be nice. Do that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hello? Oh, she's... He or she? Oh yeah, we are in the era of Pokemon also having genders and all these things, so... It's going to be interesting how they implement the new... Uh, the new new Pokemon kind of style to the very old game that I love and endear. Like, really truly my heart is in that game and I definitely hope you can get a Ghastly in this one for those people who don't know Ghastly is my favorite Pokemon and it will always and has always been and will always be so let's see here hello there I'm glad to meet you I cannot do a Professor Oak voice for the life of me but that's okay welcome to the world of Pokemon <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that reminds me of like the Pokemon Snack game where he was actually a voice actor. So, like, welcome to the world of Pokemon! <laughs> <laughs> my name is Oak! <laughs> <laughs> and that broke my voice! <laughs> 
will eventually refer me as a Pokemon professor. <laughs> I did not give myself that title. I earned it. <laughs> oh, oh, a Cubo! Oh yeah, that's right. This game is also based on what the first 150, 51, depending on if Mew and Mewtwo is also counted in one. You know. Oh well. This world is inhabited but far away by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people blah 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 blah, you speak too fast, man. I do not know. I cannot read that fast. But I study Pokemon as a profession because I talked so fast that I uh, that the player did not have the time to read it. But that's okay. <laughs> now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Okay. So, what do you look like? Oh, so they changed it. Because usually, um, usually, usually it goes like, oh, well, that's in the new, the newer ones. Usually in, in the yellow one, he was only interested in your name because you are only a boy. And in the newer games that you can change, you can choose between boy or girl. But in this one, it just seems like you just choose your appearance. So there's also non-binary friendly. So you just choose how you want to look, so there's not really any ginger discrepancy in it. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, but that means then that... Oh... So how should we look? Hmm... Oh no, customization! That, that, I think that's my biggest Achilles heel, because if you can customize stuff, I would take forever. My friends hate when we sit and play Sims games, example-wise, like just Sims 3 or 4 or 5. Well, 5 is not out yet, but you know what I mean. I like customized stuff, but uh, let's see here. Should I base it on what I looked like when I was a kid? Or... Oh, it's the same clothes no matter what, so that doesn't matter. Okay. So here's the thing. None of these characters really look like me, as of this, like, as I look now. But back when I was playing the game, I had my original hair color, and at the time my eyes hadn't turned green yet. Because when you are Scandinavian, you're born with blue eyes, and then later they change into another color. Or they stay blue, one or two. Uh, so, I guess this one looks the most like child me, because... When they go on their Pokemon journey, they are around 11 years old. Kind of the same age you get into Hogwarts. <laughs> Pun intended towards my old let's play. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, man, I'm too hyper for this game today. <laughs> Anywho, let's see here. Um, yeah, let's let, let's pick this one. And how about a name? Hmm. Uh, what should our name be? Should we just go with my cat, my usual like middle name, which is Raita? We could do that. We could also go with my nickname, which is Ray. And some people even call me Ray Ray. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, maybe we should just go with Raita. Yeah, let's just go with Raita because that that's usually what I call my characters. So that. That, that then we don't then there's something that's always the same, right? <laughs> right. So your name is Writer. Yes, it is. Oh, hello, little Evie. Oh, hello. Oh, we have a rival. Okay. So is it his grandson, like in the first one? This boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next to, to right next door to you. Okay, so this is not my beloved grandson. So where is Gary? <laughs> so where's Gary? <laughs> I don't know. So I guess we have to name this guy too. What is his name now? I don't know, Professor. Oak. You should probably have a better memory, or are you too like. Maybe he's just too hanged up on all his research that he forgets people. You know, it happens. I'm bad at names as well, so I, I shouldn't actually be. I, I, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't be the one to judge here. So, 
What is your rival's name? I don't know. What should we call him? Uh, I didn't expect... Well, I, I thought our opponent would be like in the yellow game. So this is a little diversion from the first game. I'm probably going to have such as nostalgia like going through this game in total. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, what did I usually call my rival? Because usually I just went with Gary. But... Uh, or Grey, which was an option you could choose on the names. But I think we should be more creative. It's, um... Alright! Oh, okay! <laughs> I am not sure if this name is gonna go down well, but it's okay, I guess. <laughs> it's dangerous to ask a Jepsquadian, or just the Jepsquadians in general. Um what you should call your characters in certain games. And a courtesy of Meg Mayhem said that I should call our character. I'm just gonna spell it out first. And then you guys try and pronounce it to yourselves. If you're not Scandinavian, you would probably have a problem with pronouncing it. Because Meg Mayhem suggested the Danish name for Goofy, which is Fitmule. And I'm really torn to call him Fitmule because I don't think many can pronounce it. <laughs> or if I should just call him Goofy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Because, <laughs> yeah, I see the fun in it. Like, it's unpronounceable to an English speaking person. It's, it's kind of the same with the phrase when you go to Denmark, every. any. Any uh, British people would know this. If you come to Denmark, there is a sentence you really want to say or learn to say before you leave. And it's because we have these uh, three syllables that's really hard to pronounce. This is not that hard because it doesn't have any of the three syllables. But I think still it's like a little hard to say. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, Mayhem, this is your fault. This is your fault. All your fault. Hope you're proud. He's gonna be called Fitmule, but I'm probably gonna just say Goofy instead. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's your fault, Mayhem. Definitely. Uh, you're taking the blame for this one. <laughs> it was Fitmule, was it? <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> oh no. Mayhem, what have you done? <laughs> Okay, um... It was Fitmore, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't. I just can't. <laughs> okay, I, I see the fun, but... Uh, this is your fault, Mayhem. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm gonna go with... <laughs> um... Did I actually say that Fit Mule means Goofy? The, the Disney character that goes, uh -huh? <laughs> Because I don't think I did it. This is why it's so weird. Anyway, hmm, I see. His name is Fit Mule. This is so weird. Speaking like mostly English and then suddenly throwing the Danish name. That's really weird. <laughs> it's gonna be the Yule Kalender for those who don't know what that is. It's a, um,. It's actually a Christmas calendar, like a TV calendar, uh, 24 episodes till Christmas kind of thing. And they speak half Danish, half English, and it's absolutely awful. <laughs> it's absolutely awful. <laughs> oh man, it's only the first episode and already if I should not have asked. <laughs> I should just have come up with a name like Steve. Now the thing about it, Steve would actually have been fun. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> nope. Nope. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Steve sounds fine. Steve is good. Then I can call him Stevie. And not trying to sound like something that doesn't really speak English very well. So, yeah. Steve it is. St St Steve is good. <laughs> Steve is good. Steve is good. Steve is good. 
Oh man, Mayhem, you broke me. I'm sorry, but you did. <laughs> hmm, I see. His name is Steve. Indeed. Ow, I broke my throat there. <laughs> right here, my girl. Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of dreams and adventure with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Is it like the Eevee talking to us now, or is it just Oak shouting in the background like, Don't forget us! I'm in the void of blue! Anywho, let's our adventure begin. <laughs> Damn it, man. Okay, um, let's see. What is it going to be all about? So exciting! But I, I think... Oh, oh. Our character is like us? Fall asleep in front of the telly? I do that all the time. Oh look! There's a blue controller! That's just for you control exception there, because I'm holding exactly the same type of controller right now. But why is it turning the face? Why is the controller facing the wrong way? Oh, it isn't. Wait, it isn't. It's just me being derby. It's not actually facing the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so this is our room, I guess. We have a globe. We have a bed. Very important we have a bed. Uh, we have an Eevee plushie. Very foreshadowing, I must say. <laughs> and then we have a very awesome computer. So, let's see here. There's a mail from Steve. <laughs> There's an email from Steve. Hey, writer. Here's what you need to know about it as a... <laughs> you need to know as a trainer. Because apparently I'm an expert, but we're about the same age. <laughs> Press the A button, and you can talk to all kinds of people. And if you tilt the control stick uh, more, you can run! Plus, if you open up the main menu by pressing the X button, you can save your progress too. Boy, I can't wait to get started! Can you? Steve! <laughs> yeah. I cannot... Um... I cannot imagine how fun I'm going to have with this, but um... Now here's the thing that I usually don't do, and it's actually playing release games, but however, since this is based on one of my childhood favorite games, and it seems that the story might be much the same, you can't really get spoiled, because if you played the yellow one, you're not spoiled at all! Like, y y you already pre-spoiled the game, so I don't even know if this is going to be blind for me. Because it's basically just yellow game in a in a new light, and I'm going to look forward to see what is it all about. I'm coming up. <laughs> Who is it? Up and Adam. Oh, it's Steve. Good morning, Rita. What's going on? You got off that one of those weird look on your face. Ah, never mind that. I, we couldn't even see your face, man. Really? Anyway. Oh, never mind that. I just couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today is finally the big day. We are finally going to get our first Pokemon from a Professor Oak and become real trainers. And use a lot of money and move out of home even though we are just 11 and experience probably horrid adventures. Yes, that sounds like a great adventure. <laughs> but before we do... You can read an email I sent to you yesterday, right? Uh, yeah, I did read it. I just read, read it, actually. Right. You better have. Else, check your computer if you didn't. So there's no consequences if you did or not. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna book it to Professor Oak's lab. See you there. Yeah. Exciting. The, the, actually, the fun thing is, like, it's really odd not having... Uh, two controllers in your hands that you're only having like one because it just feels so much more chill. <laughs> so it's just running around and just using one switch controller, which is really, really weird. Well, this is our mom, I guess. Hello, mom. Off to go. Off you go to Professor Oak's lab. Steve asked the professor to give the two of you Pokemon of your own, didn't he? Yeah, we probably made a petition for it. Is there anything on the telly? They're showing a movie on the TV. The scene showing a girl with her hair in pigtails 
walking on a brick road. <gasps> I don't know, Toto. I don't think we are in Kansas anymore. <laughs> it's the visit of us, isn't it? Ah, that's nice. That's this cute little reference. It could probably also refer to another, um, to another movie. But my first, uh, my first intuition to what movie it might be was um, the Wizard of Oz. Good old movie. Never really actually watched the finished yet. I should probably. There's many new series and such that's based on it, which, which I find a little more interesting. I don't know why. Anyway, but it's time for you to get you got going. <laughs> Apparently we have to go now. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh, this looks so awesome. Seriously, this is awesome. It looks so nice. Because when when you played the Pokemon Yellow, it's like Game Boy Color pixelated. So this is really, really nice. Can we talk to people? I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they'll be able to protect me. Aww, that's sweet. There's also a guy here. What does he have to talk about? Hello? Hello? Technology is incredible! Now you can connect your smartphone to your game console and send data between them! Yes, isn't technology magical? Anyway, let's go into... Oh wait, Professor Oak is not here, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> of course he's not. We have to go find him. But uh, let's just talk to Steve. Hey, Steve! S Steve! Steve! Oh, Razor! Prof Professor Oak isn't here. Do you think those Pokeballs hold the Pokemon you and I are supposed to get? Can't wait to get mine! Ha ha ha! Of course you can't. Okay, so what's in these... Because it's distinct, I remember. If you played the ye if you played the red and the blue version, it would be Charmander, Bulbasaur, and and uh, Squirtle in the three uh, Pokeballs. In the yellow, however, when you went and looked for Professor Oak, he actually caught a Pikachu, which was intended for his grandson, uh, Gary, or Gray. As he was called back then, and well, at least that's what I called him. And he didn't want that. He wanted the Eevee, so he got the Eevee, and we got the miscellaneous Pikachu. Just imagine what would have happened if if Ash would have run around with an Eevee instead of a Pikachu. How the if the, if the then you just wonder if the adventures would have been totally different because you wouldn't have all these Thunderbolts going around unless. Uh, unless Eevee evolved <laughs> to our... Because Eevee is like an evolution Pokemon with a funny DNA that can turn into basically anything. So, let's see. Who are you? Oh, hey there, Raita. Looking for Steve? He went to pick you up? Uh, did you miss? He went to pick you up? Oh, did you miss each other? Oh, Oh, she's trying to set us up, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> he said he was going to go to Professor Oak's lab with you. Okay, so that's apparently his mom, I guess. Okay. So that was all the houses in the city. I really like how this all looks. Uh, just just how it looks, I really like. So this is going to be interesting. Oh! Oh, he's... He's being attacked, or... What, what's going on here? Well, my good Peachy, thanks for the help. Mmm! <laughs> Thanks for the help! <laughs> I think I understand you all a bit better now. Thanks to this. He just need a Meowth that can talk. That's basically what he needs. Ah! If it isn't Raita. <laughs> if it isn't the young lassie. <laughs> oh, of course. I promised to give you and Steve a Pokemon today, didn't I? <laughs> In case I forgot totally about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, why don't we head back to over to the... Oh? What was that? Uh... Oh, hello! What's this? Er hello! Oh, that's so cute! 
Oh, wait, what? What, what, uh, what, what, uh... What, uh... What's going on here? My, my! You sh I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to be around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't you we practice some Pokemon catching? Mm -hmm. You just have to throw your Pokeball. Apparently we have Pokeballs now. Uh, I don't know. Then try and land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance. Oh, for catching it! Oh! 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 Okay. Hold your Joy-Con horizontally, okay? And point it straight at the screen, okay? With your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press A button to get... Uh, uh, to ready a Pokeball. Okay, so... You can throw your Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con! Okay. Don't forget to your surrounding as you go waving Joy-Con around the place. Yeah, I'm sitting at a table near a mic and a couple of screens. Yeah, I would probably mind it, but they don't really have the security thing because I can't find it. Never mind. So, A. And... Ah, I see! Upwards motions. Makes sense. Kind of like when you throw a st Yeah, okay. Makes sense, okay. I caught the Eevee! Oh, hey! Are we a Pokemon trainer yet? <laughs> have we... have we become... become great? <laughs> That's pretty fine. That's a pretty fine performance for a first time, my girl. It does make it sound like we, his ch we are his uh, daughter or something like, My girl! <laughs> my lassie! <laughs> Anyway, why don't you pick up the Pokeball and give uh, Eevee you caught a name? Oh! <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay, that's genius! That's genius! <laughs> that's funny! Now, that's a lively Pokemon if I've ever seen one. Oh! Hey, wait! Come back! I've never seen Mr. Oak run, or Professor Oak, not Mr. Oak. Oh well, back to Steve at hand. Professor Oak, those Pokeballs there, I swear there were only two just a second ago, but now there are three. Ah, perfect reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that Raita just caught right now. So, wait, Raita, you caught it yourself? Oh, yes, it's jumping up and down. Yes. Wow, I've never seen that happen before. Ho ho ho, is it? How interesting. Well, my girl, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep a good hold of it this time. <laughs> like it's all fault it ran away. Oh, come on. What is actually in the other Pokeballs? Because, uh, as I said before, like in the yellow version, you didn't actually have a choice between Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle. It was only the choice between Eevee and Pikachu, and you actually didn't get the choice because Gray got a fit and got his Eevee, and we got the Pikachu. I think it's trying to tell you you're going for the wrong one, pal. Okay, so I would really like to know what is in the others? The other, one of them is probably a Pikachu. Just to, because of the hey you, or let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, but what is in the third? I would like to know. Anywho, let's select the Eevee. Oh. Hello, little fella. Oh! <laughs> Hello! Oh, that's adorable. That's so cute. I'm uh, sorry, but. Um, <laughs> oh, that's really adorable. I like Eevee already, but I'm pretty sure if it's been a Pikachu, it would be just as cute. You became your Pokemon. Yay. Hmm. What a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem like, like staying in one place. But it looks as though it's taking a shine to you. <laughs> it's not a shiny, but it's taking a shine to you. Writer, why don't you give it a name? 
Oh, another name. Okay. I'm not asking the other people now, because if that's the kind of names I'm getting, no. <laughs> Just no. Um, I actually think I'm gonna call... Uh, is it a boy or girl? Oh, it's just we. Oh, uh, we we can nickname it afterwards if it's like the old game. We can always change. Oh no, wait, we can't. We go. We have to go to the nickname uh, changer to change the name, right? Unless it's based on the newer games where it basically can change them all the time. But if it's based on the old yellow game that you had to go to the name changer and give him money to change the name on your Pokemon. Um, but for now, it's Eevee, I guess. Professor, I choose this one. Steve got a Pikachu from Professor Oak. Okay, so I was right on that part. So it still kind of uh, stays in the same atmosphere of you. That means we probably are going to get Bulbasaur, Charmander and Squirtle in other ways, which is great because then we can get all the Pokemons, except for three. Because there are different Pokemons between the games that are exclusive to those games, as far as I've just been told. Um, I think Meowth and Growlithe are... I think, Growl as far as I remember, Growlithe is in the Pikachu one, and we have Meowth in this game, or in the Eevee game, so that's going to be interesting. Anywho. Oh, we can just move on. I was waiting for more dialogue. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, hello! Oh, it's following us. Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are sitting out as trainers, I would like you... Uh, I would like to ask for your help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a Pokedex. Oh, look, he has a cup of tea next to his computer. Oh, that's just like me. <laughs> Just uh, that I don't have any tea right now because I didn't know it was only one-handed console. It would have been so much easier if it wasn't. Anyway, what is that thing, Professor? This is the Pokédex I have designed. It actually... It automatically records data on your Pokémon you have caught, a seen or caught. And it makes an entry for each of them, I guess. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Just like in every other game, I guess. Great! So it's no different from any other game. That's great. Right turn, Steve. I want you each to take one with you. Here you go. And here you go. <laughs> you got a Pokedex from Professor Oak. Great. I will find you. Um, you will find you can't get very detailed data um, on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. To so make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That is my dream. As always, because there was also his dream back in the yellow one. And also the enemy and every other place. Anyway. But I'm old man now. But I am an old man now. <laughs> that sounded so depressing. <laughs> Too old to get a job done by myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. So I can sit back with a cup of tea sitting at my computer and see all the Pokemon you sap through my office. And take care of them when you have above six of them. Get moving, you two. Because I just admitted to something that I should probably not have said anyway. It's great. Uh, this is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're going to meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now. Right, it. You should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is. Oh, he's taunting us. How dare he taunt us. Let's go after him. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, actually, can, can we go see now what uh, the other Pokemon was? Let's just go in again. Oh! Hey, Mom! Oh! How cute! Is this the one you got from the Professor? What? You cocked it yourself? That's amazing! <laughs> the, like, very supportive mother, like, That's amazing, honey. Now go on your adventure so I can get some alone time. 
I've been waiting 11 years for this. <laughs> what did you call your new friend? Evie? That's a lovely Pokemon. Evie! <laughs> My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will get, be setting off on your adventures today, right? I thought this day might come soon, so now I can kick back and just enjoy life because you're not home anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that setting sentence. I like putting in sentences that probably are <laughs> a little not intended. Anyway. So I planned ahead and got this for you. Oh! Thanks, Mom. Oh, cool. Because in, in the yellow version... Oh, I'm going to compare this a lot to the yellow version. As far as I remember, we had to convince uh, Gray's mother, or Gary's mother, or no, not mother, but sister, to hand us a map. Not We didn't get it from our mom. She was kind of like a just a character there, saying goodbye. <laughs> Great. And we put the map in, town map in, in our bag, yeah. By using the map in your bag, you always know exactly where you are. Yeah, and if you played the yellow game, you probably also always know where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Evie, uh, be good to each other. Aww. Yeah, we probably, we're going to have some fun. I really enjoy the fact that uh, you have Pokemon running around with you. It just seems like you have another companion, which is really nice. So, basically, we are about to start our journey, but I think I will do that in the next one. Oh! <gasps> Is this how the... What's... Uh, why are the Pokemon out of the grass? I, I don't... So, you are able to see the Pokemons now that comes out of the grass areas? Instead of... Um... Instead of just random encounters, you can actually pick the Pokemons you want? That is so weird! Especially because you're playing Pokemon- I've played Pokemon for so many years. <laughs> this is so weird and cool at the same time. Anyway, I think I'll be ending off here and until next time guys, take care and have a fantastic day. <laughs>